Are you looking for a standalone Whisper transmitter to complement your ham radio station? Well, today I'm looking at the Whisper transmitter from Zactech. This is the Whisper desktop transmitter model. Uh, this, come in, this particular model comes in three versions, the low, uh, mid, and high. Now, uh, we'll have a look at this. It's a fairly straightforward little box. It's only it's fairly small, as you can see. There's a nice little block diagram of exactly uh, the, the working systems inside the, the uh, unit here. I'll just uh, try and make that focus there. There we go, Whisper Transmitter from Zactech. Uh, from their website, it says that the Whisper Desktop Transmitter is a standalone multiband Whisper Transmitter with built-in GPS for the radio amateur slash experimenter. Uh, some quick features. Standalone operation, PC required for configuration but not for operation. Number two, for transmission on a variety of HF bands, two to five, based on model and user choice. It's powered from USB. It comes with a built-in GPS module and includes an external GPS antenna with a long cable for easy installation. You use the PC software to set up your call sign, band choice, and you can operate in standalone mode. The timing and uh, main head location position data is from the GPS network. You can take it camping, move it to another QTH, use it mobile. All it needs is a 5 volt, 250 milliamp hour phone charger or USB power pack. And it contains open software and the software and schematics is published on the Zactech page. Now as I said this comes with three uh, models. The low model is the 136 kilohertz and 474 kilohertz bands. The mid model, uh, mid plus model is 160 meters, 80 meters, 40 meters, 30 meters, 20 meters. And the high plus model, the one that I've got, is 17 meters, 15 meters, 12 meters, 10 meters, and six meters. So the only thing that you need to do with this model, uh, with this transmitter is basically plug it into your computer uh, input your uh, call sign, your main head locator will automatically be picked up through the GPS network. You can also manually put it in if you like and set it up to start transmitting. So this will be handy for those who maybe they use their base station radio uh, on Whisper and they sort of want a standalone version. This unit puts out 200 milliwatts which is great for uh, testing antennas. You can see uh, propagation on uh, various bands. You can band hop as well. So it will hop between uh, the different bands that you set it for. I'm gonna be using mine on six meters for our sporadic E uh, season, which is coming up. So that'll be sitting there running during the day. You get a USB lead in the package and also a GPS, um, our GPS magnetic mouse antenna. So as I said, it can, it's a standalone and will run off a USB uh, power supply. So um, what we're gonna do in this video is just plug it in, um, program it up to start transmitting and just see what the configuration software looks like. But uh, yeah, great little uh, unit. You can pop it in the car. Uh, you can, as it says, take it portable and uh, or use it for testing just at low power. So. Yeah, let's have a look at the configuration software of the Zactech Whisper Transmitter. Okay, so I have set up the uh, Whisper Transmitter. All I've done is I've just put a dummy load on the end of the output here. It's an SMA connector, so I've just I've got an adapter to a dummy load. Connected the GPS up and the USB cable. I did have to install a USB driver, so that's available on the Zactech website. So let's have a look at the Whisper Transmitter configuration uh, program. The first thing is, as you can see, the GPS here. So you can see my position, uh, QE37, my main head uh, grid locator, UTC time. My signal quality for the GPS is quite low because the GPS uh, antenna is just sitting on the inside here. But you can see a plot of the nearby GPSs and where they are in relation to you. So yeah, you can sort of hover over them and see the signal to noise ratio and the, uh, all the relevant uh, data there, which is pretty cool. Um, when you first fire up the program, if you go to serial port, you can find the drop down menu and find the correct serial port which has been loaded in your device manager and you can open up the serial port communication to the transmitter and then you'll see this information all uh, populate. 
Uh, the next tab along is the boot configuration. So this will set what to do when it is booted up with power for the first time. So in my case, I've got it set as a whisper beacon. Uh, you can set it up just as a signal generator or just idle doing nothing. So uh, you can decide uh, what you want it to do when it starts up. Uh, it is a signal generator as well. So uh, you can generate all sorts of uh, uh, signals. So uh, in this case, uh, uh, 50.3 if I hit start you can hear the transmitter there has turned on on my 7300 and I can hear the signal but the main uh, tab that we want to look at is the whisper beacon tab so we can see here the green indicates that there is a low pass filter built into this particular model uh, so I can use it on those bands, so 17, 15, 12, 10, and six. So you can go ahead and check uh, which bands you want to transmit on, and it will toggle through and say which bands it is uh, currently enabled or disabled for transmission on. Uh, at the moment, I all I'm going to do is use it for six meters. So if I just click those off, now only six meters is enabled. Uh, the pause after transmission is how long the pause is between transmissions, so you can uh, work out how long it's going to stop transmitting for uh, before it retransmits again. Uh, your call sign can go up here. Uh, this can uh, be uh, a maximum of six characters, as it says there. One thing that's helpful about this configuration is you can hover over and it will tell you exactly the description. Uh, you can set this up for auto or manual. Uh, report and position so if you don't have a GPS uh, attached to it you can click uh, manual uh, as well although uh, that said it does require the GPS for timing as well so uh, if you do click manual sorry then uh, that will just be a manual grid but uh, auto picks it up from the GPS uh, reported power so this is not the power level that you are um, Outputting out of the unit, this is the uh, reported power that you are sending in the whisper uh, transmission. So it says they're normally 23 dBm for the desktop product. So yeah, that's basically the whisper transmitter. Uh, it'd be a good little unit to try on the air and to uh, use over this summer for myself for sporadic E. So yeah, um, definitely check that out, zachtech.com. These units are about $130, $140, I think, uh, US. And uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're a good little unit to replace a base station rig or if you just want a sort of a standalone whisper uh, unit. So uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the Ham Radio DX channel. Uh, the, leave in the comments below. Uh, my question to you is, do you use whisper? What do you use whisper for? Do you use it for probing uh, propagation, for testing antennas or just for fun? please let me know in the comments below and uh, thank you for watching.